Welcome back <clears throat> to Jin's Treasure. This is the first attempt, I believe, for me doing a podcast on YouTube. So that's a little bit nerve-wracking for me as I settle into spontaneously giving this a shot. I literally just pulled into a parking lot, <clears throat> parked my car, and I'm just sitting in my car thinking about expanding my channel, learning more about what's capable with YouTube, and I'm just recording and documenting along the way, so that's what this all is coming into is what I'm what I'm going to be talking about today is just my journey through YouTube and the different capabilities such as podcast and <clears throat> give you some insight I suppose if there's a purpose to it to give you some insight or maybe even some inspiration to just put yourself out there just try and do it and see what happens and uh, <clears throat> as I was pulling my phone out at the beginning of this recording, actually, it was like probably a, the first time in a long time that I pulled out the, uh, the app for memo, voice memos. It's on, it comes on automatic on the iPhone. Anyways, I pulled it out and there was one recording that I already had and it's this uh, violin recording that I had also recorded on my iPhone and it was a recording of a friend of mine, Ruti, Ruti Cello, and she's playing her cello and um, <clears throat> making different recordings and, and shifting the music all live. So it's just her playing on her cello with all this electronic equipment that I know nothing about because um, I'm not really knowledgeable of like music, music scene, music equipment, <laughs> and, um, but she is, and she's working it on the pedal, because she has her hands full playing the cello, so she's working, working this, all this foot magic on the electronics, and it's changing the sound, and it's pretty cool, and that's what we're hearing, I decided that when I pulled out my phone and the voice memo app and saw this recording, played it, I liked it, and I wanted to see if I could overlay it over this conversation that we're having. And the, the song in total is about seven minutes long. And so I thought, you know, why not go for seven minutes of me talking and documenting this uh, kind of trial and error, but this is all just the trial. So we'll see what the errors are how I can improve, uh, even just having a um, formula, uh, a script, to keep you engaged listening to me. It's, I mean, the exercising how to work your voice, giving you a voice. At least that's kind of what I see, and I, I thought about it, and I weighed the, the positive and negatives of just being authentic on the radio having my own radio and um, thinking about oh well the controversy of like mm, does that mean I'm an influencer and you, 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 I gotta be like this bro this this uh, sellout I guess is what people uh, diss on well it's the sellout but also the dumb engaging to like a dumb audience to captivate um, you know the masses because the masses unfortunately humanity on an intelligent scale it varies it, there's a huge range of it and a lot of the mass is um, on the curve on the lower curve of that range and so it's easier especially with the, the technology that says you know it's keeping our attention spans and keeping us engaged and just little snippets they just uh, as they would say on the HBO show, little morsels, tiny morsels, that's what people want. 
and that's what keeps us engaged and just like pellet after pellet after pellet of those little nibbles of uh, content, you know, shorts content and uh, TikTok and um, vines when that was a thing. You know, six seconds, seven seconds, ten seconds, just keep the audience engaged uh, real quick. And I've experienced that myself too on, on my own channel. Um, playing around with the YouTube shorts and seeing that like, oh, versus my longer videos, um, you know, seven minute video, I get more views um, through shorts. And it's just, that's just how it works because the that's where the attention span is at. That's where the audience is. And it's easier since you can see so many videos so fast you get to see a greater um, selection of different videos, different creators. And so you're seeing new information and, and fresh and more, uh, more fast. And so that's, that's how we as humanity are, are learning to adapt to receiving new information. Um, they talk about how like the the cavemen were able to keep one single train of thought going for hours on end and for us i mean every every second we have a thought we think about it and then we have another thought and then we think about it and then we have another thought and then we think about it and we're not even really unpacking or digesting because it's just there's so much information just coming right at us all the time Yeah, so that was a pretty cool rant and all. I'm at seven minutes now. Um, that's my that's my first podcast video. That's my introduction. I'm Jim's Treasure. Peace.